Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up scenes in OBS Studio. So let's get started. The first time you open OBS Studio, we'll find it like this with a blank screen. And here's the scene step. Let's say that you are a streamer and you have multiple scenes, one for gaming and one for your desktop and one for just chatting. So how to add and set up these scenes, I'll show you right now. First, you can add scenes by clicking on this add icon, scene two, scene three. Now you can change the name. Just click F2 on your keyboard and type the name you want, top and this for gameplay and this for just chatting. Now for the desktop, we want to add the source display capture, okay, and okay. Now after we add the display capture, you can add your face cam, click on add and select video capture device, okay. Now if you have a face cam connected to OBS Studio, it will be here. Now if you want to know how to use your phone as a webcam, that will be in another video, you can watch it from here or go to the OBS playlist on the channel. So now click OK. Now change the size of the video capture. Now as you can see here, I changed the size, but it was for the display capture because it's the selected one here. So select the video capture and for the display capture, right click, transform, fit to screen. Now move your camera where you want. Now for the gameplay, I want to add game capture, enable this option. Add your game here, capture any full screen application. Now there is a very common error that it just shows a black screen like this. To fix this error, just right click and go to transform, fit to screen. Now it will record the whole screen, not just one pixel in the corner. Now I'll select my game. This is the game, I can minimize this. Now as you can see, this is my game. And this is the gameplay scene. I want to copy the face cam from this scene to the other scene, just right click, copy. Go to the gameplay, right click and paste. Now we have our gameplay scene. You can also add a background like image or video if you want. Like go to add and select image. Okay, select any background you want. I'll just add this one, open. Okay, now click on control F. So you have to make the image below the game capture and the face cam above the game capture. So that they can see you and, the game. and if you're not playing the game, they will see the image instead of the game capture. Control F, fit screen, just stretch it like this. Okay. Now for just chatting, add your face cam, video capture device. Okay. Okay. Now this will be for just chatting with your chat. So now we have three things and you can add more as you want. Just add and add sources as you want. Now how to change between these scenes without going like this every time. Go to settings, go to hotkeys, scroll down. Now you will see desktop, gameplay, just chatting. These are the scenes we have just created. So how to go to desktop, switch to scene. Now you can add any keyboard shortcut you want. For example, I will select control one and control two and control three and click on apply and okay. Now. Uh, as you can see, if I just click Control 2, Control 3, Control 1, it will change the scene automatically without having to open OBS. Also, you can add transitions between each scene. As you can see, it's a fade transition. You can add the cut, fade, and you can change the duration like this. Also, you can add any more transitions. Just click on Add. And you will have many other like Luma Oip. Okay. You have just like select anyone from here and click on OK. Now when I change, as you can see, it have multiple transitions and you can also make custom transitions by adding stinger. I can make another video on that if you want. Just tell me in the comments. If you want to know the best settings for recording, I'll show you how to record the high quality videos and how to avoid any errors that happen when you try to record like stopping recording error and black screens and all that. So that was today's video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.